hot today, isn't it, girls? Yes. Absolutely. Making short work of that, my ladies. Yeah. Oh, got a bit of a big bit there. What a stunningly lovely morning. The girls are enjoying their carrot tops. I'm just waiting for Mum. She should be. She should be here shortly. It's a bit sunny. Sorry, this is a bad spot. It's just gorgeous up here. It was so frosty this morning. Really, really cold, and the sky is very blue. <laughs> Uh, but while the sun's out, oh, it's just lovely. So what is on the cards today other than just enjoying the sunshine? <laughs> it's going to start raining supposedly this afternoon and then it's going to be grey for a couple of days. So basically I'm just up here to absorb as much of it as I possibly can. And it's really nice. But what are we doing? So I've still got the strawberries on my to-do list. And I've also got to do some compost kind of shuffling. And I bought up the big rubble sack with me, not rubble sack, but you know, like the cube, the builder's meter cube bag today. So I might do a bit of that. <sighs> got to make some decisions. Those peas are absolutely flying at home. They look phenomenal. So I'm just going to work out which bed we're going to put them in because they're going to be going out soon. So much things, so much things. Everything needs water. They all need water. I'll go and fill up the water in the pan. Yeah, they're coming back good. Yeah, they're very good. They're very light too. Yeah. Well, these are looking good. Yeah. Maybe we can have a look at this thing. Don't really want this in here. Not at 32 no, no, degrees. No, no, I'm going to put it out. Yeah. Minus one to 32.1. That's a big. Wait, isn't it funny that that one just was so close to there? It just... Yeah, it just got it, didn't it? We've been having some pretty big temperature fluctuations uh, the last couple of days because it's been clear skies. So the temperature has been really, really low at night and then getting really hot in the day because of all the sunshine. But everything in here seems to have coped fine. This is mostly flowers, but we've got some uh, chives and things uh, just on their way up. The lettuces are looking good. Uh, they don't seem to mind the big fluctuation temperatures, but they don't really like getting dry and I keep forgetting to water them, which is the same story in the polytunnel. So I must go and do that now too. Things are looking fantastic in here. I'm really happy. I'm gonna give it another water, another feed today. But yeah, things have really picked up. I mean, have a look at the uh, chard. It's really gone from that kind of limp, pale, pale leaf to a real big kind of burst of a leaf. Yeah, you can tell it's just about to absolutely burst into life and uh, we'll be picking that in no time. 
The mustard leaves are so delicious, really, really tasty. The Green Wave one, this one, tastes much more mustardy than the Dragon's Tongue one, which kind of doesn't really taste of anything raw. So that's real, that's a winner. But yeah, really happy with things in here. I'd better get watering though, because the sun's kind of, it's becoming ever so slightly more cloudy. And I don't want to leave this door open if it gets cloudy, because then it'll lose all the heat. What were the temperatures though? It might not actually be spring yet, but the stuff in here is really responding to the fact that the days are just getting that little bit longer. They are uh, just grown. In the last couple of weeks, they've grown like twice the size. They're really starting to pick up, which is exciting. <laughs> we got some good stuff. This pink mizuna that I'm watering now, I'm really looking forward to trying that. We haven't had any of it yet, but as long as I keep watering it, <laughs> we should be eating it soon. So yeah, like I said, when I was chopping these down, we're going to use some of these long straight stems for plant support. So either to grow peas up or beans or something along those lines. But uh, when you are coppicing a budlier, it gets these really fantastic, long, straight, quite strong stems each year. So we're just trying to use them the best we can, really. And if we keep coppicing it every year, we'll get more and more. Pretty fab. But have a look at this, right? I'm pretty excited about this. In this little bucket at the back here is a hyacinth that's out. Woo! -hoo -hoo. It smells amazing. You can smell it from where we're like chopping this bundle, although that's stuck in my hair, Mum. <laughs> um, Mum's trying to pull my hair out. Uh, yeah, but gorgeous hyacinth. So they're going to go along with, these are our raspberry canes that I chopped down this year. They're last year's raspberry canes. And then we've got all these bits and pieces and sticks and whatnot. And the Budlier are going to join them. Indeed. So something else that I'm really excited about is I've just seen the amount of bud we've got on the apricot tree. It's, like, it's more than we've ever had before. So if you were with me from last spring, you'll know this tree is my absolute pride and joy. I love it. But have a look at the amount of blossom buds we've got on here. I mean, these stems are covered, absolutely covered. Oh, and when all this is in flower, it's just going to be gorgeous. Now, what we've really got to hope for is no like uh, really early frost. So like a frost mid-March would be not very good uh, the problem with apricots is i've said this before but the apricots and peaches it's not so much that we don't have the temperatures for it here uh, to grow that kind of fruit here in terms of summer temperatures the problem is is that they flower so early that we often find that their their blossom gets frosted so it's like right at the wrong time of year 
year before last when we had no frost at this time we had two huge storms that physically blew all the blossom off the trees so I've got high hopes for apricots this year. Last year we got about 14, year before nothing, year before that hundreds. Right, garlic update. This was the first lot that I sowed. Do you remember I got them from Wilco? I think the variety was called Casablanca, but now I'm thinking about it, also got a potato variety this year called Casablanca, so I could have got that confused. Hmm. Anyway, this was the first lot that I bought. It's all hard neck this year, and I think they're looking quite strong. And this is the second bed. So this is the Ducot garlic that Eli sent me from Scotland and also interplanted with shallots, which are the really, really lime green multi-stemmed ones. This bloody, one of the things about dipping, instead of filling the watering can up from the tap, but actually dipping it in the water butt, is it keeps getting leaves in it that I can't see. And then like, oh, and this is just the endless problem of leaves being stuck in the watering can rows. <sighs> That's so annoying. And then you get stick your fingers in there and inevitably there's a slug hiding in there as well, which is just an absolute joy. Yeah, Ducot, and I don't have a variety name for the shallots, but they were planted from sets. This isn't my seeds. I'm gonna be sowing seeds first thing in March. Exciting times. Yeah, so this is why I'm planting the peas next week and the garlic's looking good, is basically what I was trying to say. So I've just been, uh, sorry about the kids, <laughs> I think it's the last day of term today, it's a Friday and um, they're all in, what's it called, mufti clothes, they're not in um, their uniforms so I think they're having their last day so they're really overexcited, which is nice, god I remember that day just before you break up for like two weeks holiday, the best, I hated school by the way, <laughs> absolutely hated it. Um, oh yeah, so what I was just looking at is uh, measuring the compost bin, so uh, I'm going to have a go at that tomorrow morning, I was just looking at the uh, weather forecast and tomorrow is meant to be like this to like it has been today which is going to be gorgeous we didn't get up here until about 11 today but we're going to try and get up here a bit earlier tomorrow and i'm going to crack on with the starting the compost move which is exciting <laughs> that's been on my list for a long long time yeah so i'm going to do that tomorrow morning but what i got to do before i leave today is pick some uh well field beans is the first thing and then uh, carrots, we're going to pick some carrots and we're going to pick some parsnips and parsnips, this is the first ones we picked of the year because we didn't think there's anything under there but there's one peeking through so there must be something so we're going to have a go at that God, it's noisy here at the moment, I'm sorry Okay, let's try that again <laughs> We are going to pick some carrots and parsnips both of which are very exciting and I'm going to pick some field beans uh, field bean tops before we go that's what i'm going to do girlies are up in the house i've just um shunted them up into the uh you know fruit cage for a bit uh, while i give the house a clean and uh sort their food out because they keep kicking bark chips into their food bowl at the moment this is a new thing obviously a new game uh, <laughs> so i'm gonna pick the bark chips out of their dinner and um, top that up and then do some picking and all that kind of stuff. And then this afternoon, I am going to be potting up chilli, so I've got to take some pots home with me. Loads of stuff, loads of stuff. Kids are overexcited, I'm overexcited. Let's go. Just bag of field beans it's just these tops that i'm picking where they're really fresh and lush and quite dense and just just gorgeous we're gonna have these for lunch it's gonna be field bean cheese on toast
big, isn't it? No, the pot's big, but ain't the same thing. Let me just get round to this side. Right, mind out, I'm going to flip this. So we had essentially written off 2021 as a failed year for parsnips for us completely. Our first two sowings got eaten firstly by chickens and then completely taken off by slugs. But as time's gone on, there does seem to be life under here. There are things growing. So um, let's have a look. Side shoot. Oh, yes, baby one. Delicious. We had a bit of problems with the parsnips this year. Huge problems with the parsnips this year. Should I try one of these? Yes. That one? Yep. That looks a bit more promising. Shall I get a spade? Whoops! Good one. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. It's not going to do I don't think that's happening, no. I wonder if it's large. For dinner, do you so? And we'll take the tops off now for the girlies, and they can right. have them when they come back down. Wonderful, right. okay. Wonderful. October sown experimental carrots, a success. I know I'm not playing this cool or anything, but is there anything better? Beautiful day, blue sky, parsnips. Leeks. Carrots. And a huge bag of field bean tops. Name me something better. I mean, other than possibly a polytunnel full of wonderful tomatoes on a beautiful hot sunny day. But you know, this I think comes pretty close. Anyway, I think it's probably time to head off. I'm gonna go and get the girls, get them back in their house. Are you ready to come back, girlies? Are you ready? They don't look in the slightest bit ready, but we're going anyway, so. Are we ready to head off, Mum? Charlie, just head up, so... Okay, right. I'm going to put all these in the basket of joy. It's going to be a proper harvest basket today.
people are experimenting, finding what they want. Now, at special abilities. I think we've got over 2 million blades of tea. In certain days, it would be anything else. Our blades made up from many different types of leaf. <laughs> it is Saturday afternoon. I have been out for lunch and I'm feeling incredibly full. And now I had planned to go and dig out the compost or at least make a start on digging out the compost. And I'm determined I'm actually going to do it. So if you see me kind of like pass out in the middle of it, it's because too much food and then too much activity. What I really want to be doing is having a, an enormous afternoon kip, but, <laughs> but I'm not having that. Sun's come out. It's gorgeous like it was yesterday, except it is so much colder, so much colder, hence the hat. But yeah, it's really, really cold. So uh, I think high activity is what I need to be doing to keep warm. So first thing I need to do is move the sedum. There's a couple of other bits and pieces I need to move in here as well, which is I've got another lignus, they're just everywhere. And I've also got two auriculars in here, which will be crushed. So I'm gonna rescue them. Oh, and a foxglove. That's a surprise. I didn't know that was in here. So what I'm doing is, you know where I moved the uh, long, low compost bin to under the camellia the other day? Um, well, we've decided that actually we want all three of the compost bins, bin one, two and three, next to each other. So I'm going to move it up into this space so that when I shunt the other two bins round, they'll all form just like one bank together. So I'm just moving it up here. It also means that we don't have to take out the rosemary. And I really didn't want to take out the rosemary because it's looking so lush and beautiful. So this one is just going to go in here. Is it in? Just sit it in there. And now I'm going to empty what's in this bin, which is bin number two, into the long low bin, which would be bin number three. This will essentially be its turning process again into bin number three, and we'll leave it there for another couple of months and then it will be ready for use in the spring. Perfect timing. Wow, there's a lot of worms in here. Hmm. I don't really want to go in this with a spade because it'll be a massacre. I might see if I can do it all with a fork.
drill. I really want to get this done. So, yeah. Look at this. Luckily I went with this with the uh, fork rather than the spade, but look at that. I've just pulled out this total tangle of just like a worm metropolis. Look at them all. Hello chaps. So yeah, that's pretty much me done. Mostly cleared from there. I'll just get the broom and sweep it out. But uh, yeah, that is one bin moved. And then in a little while, this will be ready for use. It's still got quite a lot of um, sticks and stringy bits in it. This was before we were being so fastidious about chopping everything up really small. So next year's compost should have less kind of sticks in it. But look how gorgeous this camellia is. It's like it's covered in fried eggs. Okay, not bad for a cold, full Saturday afternoon. <laughs> but now I've stopped, like I'm getting really chilly. So I'm just going to put... Now, can we do this? these no that way yeah these plants in to find a spot for them and uh and then i think we're gonna head home because chili 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 Morning. I didn't get around to potting up the chilies yesterday, so I'm going to do it this morning. But delivery arrived. I do believe this is the Red Duke. Pot it's the Red Duke potatoes, Dingo. It is. Red Duke potatoes, Bob. These ones. These ones. I do believe these are the Red Duke potatoes that have come from Sutton's. So firstly, thank you very much to Sutton's uh, because they've given them to me for um, contributing to their blog last year. So yeah, free Red Duke potatoes, very exciting. I'm just gonna go and stick them outside with the other ones to start chitting and then take some chilies. Can you see the chilies from there in the corner? <laughs> gonna take some of the chilies upstairs to repot. I'm not gonna repot all of them. I'm only gonna repot the ones that have got like a really good set of second leaves, which is about three varieties, I think. So yeah, right, do the chitting potatoes first. Hey, Dingo. This would be funny if it turns out this isn't potatoes. It's potatoes. We really don't need a whole kilo. I'm going to grow, it's going to be six outside and we're probably going to do a couple inside as a bit of, a, you know, early experiment. Yeah, fab. So I'm going to lay these out to chit. And while we're out here, how good do the peas look? Hopefully they're going to be going in first thing next week. But yeah, they're looking really good. Beauties. Right, I'm going to go and get some chilies to pot up. So chilies. Cucumbers are looking good first though. Have a look at these guys. It looks nice, doesn't it? 
those beautiful big leaves. Yeah, looking really good. I'm really pleased with them. Uh, but chilies, chilies is the... And this one's looking good. And so is this one. Okay, I've got my pots and I've got my chilies and I've got my peppers. So I'm just gonna pop them up. I'm using square pots purely for convenience just because I'm gonna have to keep these guys under the lights for quite a lot more time. Uh, square pots just take up less space. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, putting them in those uh, i'm going to try and get as many as i can into the little ones which are these ones and then i've just got some that are slightly bigger which is annoying but there we go when you're using all just random secondhand pots and don't go out buying pots uh, you just have to make do <laughs> okay right let's do some potting up of chili plants <laughs> So that's about it for this week chaps uh that is vlog 97 and we are rapidly approaching vlog 100 <sighs> can't believe it <laughs> yeah i really genuinely like that seems extraordinary a hundred tuesdays a hundred tuesdays of making a vlog of putting a vlog up wow yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to celebrate it yet. I'm thinking that vlog 101 might be the celebratory one because uh, then it's like starting the second hundred vlogs. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not sure. I haven't got any plans. <laughs> There's a bit of a timing issue on the actual vlog 100. So it's probably going to be vlog 101 is the big celebration. It's Monday morning here and I really got to get on with editing this week's vlog. It's it's half done. It's half done. This is like the end piece for it. So no major panic. But uh, it is Valentine's Day. So for the Monday Clubbers, it's still going to be Valentine's Day when you watch this. So happy Valentine's Day <laughs> for everybody who's watching on Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day for yesterday. And um, yeah, anything exciting happening for Valentine's Day in where you are? There's nothing happening here. <laughs> I mean, it never does. 
I'm just pleased that I got the compost moving started at last. Like that's um, that's a big thing. We're meant to be having some more manure delivered. Well, either sometime this week or it's scheduled for next week, but I'm not going to be here next week. And obviously mum can't do the compost moving. So um, I'm hoping it's going to be this coming week. That would be incredibly handy if they can deliver it then. Organic Compost Company, if you're listening, <laughs> that would be handy. Uh, if not, we're going to have to delay it until I come back because there's just no way that it can be done when I'm not here. So that's it. I shouldn't be gone for longer than a week. So... I should be back in time, you know, if we just rescheduled it, that should be okay. Well, yeah, so next week, next week I'm going to try and finish off moving the compost bins because the two need to be shunted that way. And it would be a real pest if the manure arrives and we haven't moved the bins because we're going to want to stack them in the space where the bins are now. That would be just really annoying if we have to stack them somewhere else and then move them again. Because, like, we've got 25 bags coming and uh, moving 25 bags of 80 litre horse manure when it's wet and soggy and cold isn't something you really want to do twice. And wherever we lay it, it's going to kill the grass and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it's going to be either this week or, ne or the week after next and I will have moved the compost bins by then. Next week's other job is getting the peas in, which I am so excited about. We've gotten over the little cold snap that we were due. It was about minus two um yeah but it wasn't it wasn't terrible it wasn't wet and it wasn't very windy so it didn't feel that cold but it was chilly but now we've gotten over that peas are going in next week which is really exciting first potted up chilies is pretty exciting they should really take off now uh yeah just loads and loads of stuff things are really really starting to grow you can just feel it okay it is not spring <laughs> I do know that it's not spring, but it feels like spring is like just over the horizon, which is a great feeling. It's really, really good. And I'm really noticing that the days are so much longer now. Like it can be 3.30, 4.30 and we're still up at the allotment and it's like, oh, is it, what time is it? You know, and I'm thinking it's going to be like just after lunchtime and it's like 4.30 and it's not pitch black, which is a joy because that really gets you down after a while. Yeah, anyway, that was a right ramble, wasn't it? I haven't got the Discord up yet. Apologies, I'm going to try and get that up this week, along with um, reinstating some of the seed swaps that we did last year, because that was really quite successful. We got loads of stuff swapped around. The only problem was is that I had it embedded in my actual website and it got completely and utterly flooded with um, fake accounts. Like, it was just picked up by some bot and... And my website's done through like uh, WordPress and uh, my God, when I had to try and delete them all, I had to delete them manually. And there was more than 4,000 bogus accounts on there. It was just a nightmare. So I had to shut the seed exchange down last year. I've been trying to get it up again this year, but I'm hoping to get it onto Discord. <sighs> things are coming, things are coming. I've just got to get it kind of sorted in my own head before I embark on it and try and make sure that we don't have the same problem this year with the um, with the nonsense accounts because that is such a pain. But yeah, okay chaps, I think that's it. Um, I don't have anything to cheers you with because it is the morning and Monday morning at that and cheersing isn't good at that time. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so Monday clubbers, happy Valentine's Day. And uh, for everybody else, Tuesday, I will see you this time next week. Have a spectacular week. Bye.